everyone here on my channel. In this video I want to give you an update about the new software I've made which will fly the Buffalo rocket. The software contains of two Arduino programs, one for the flight computer and one for the launch computer, an Arduino library and a graphic user interface. The Arduino library comprises of many custom commands to simply control components like MPU 6050 a BMP280, a buzzer, an RGB LED and a NRF24 radio module. It also has comments for pitch calculations and abort handling. The two Arduino programs that will launch the rocket have many different functions like error handling, data transmission via radio, older control software and the real-time countdown sequence. To explain all the concepts behind the two Arduino programs would go way beyond the scope of the video. Therefore I need to leave them out as they are also not very interesting. This video is mostly about the GUI that I have been making the last two weeks. The GUI has been made in the processing IDE while using an online available graph class and a controlled P5 library. Now let us start the program. Here is the main window in which you can choose between three modes, launch, reconstruct and save slash close mode. At first we can check out the launch mode. As the name says, this mode is used to launch a rocket. It saves data of the vehicle in the text file on the computer and it shows the measurements of the rocket in real time. By clicking the launch button a text field appears, here we need to enter how we want to name our flight file, which will be generated during launch. The launch window opens and we can press the start button. After that a further text field appears in which we need to type in the security code before the countdown sequence starts. If we press the stop button the countdown is going to be aborted and by clicking the start button we can restart the sequence. The communication between the two microcontrollers is shown in the prolog field. The timestamp of every sentence is shown in the square brackets. During the count on the LEDs of the board are simulated and the number on the 7 segment display is monitored. The file name and the launch date are shown on the bottom right. Here you can see the rocket and its engine viewing the measured angles. The blue orange ones around the X axis and the red green around the Y axis. The Z axis has been omitted but will eventually be added later. The third yellow animation shows the two axis and the height of the rocket at the same time. The height is shown proportional if it isn't below 0 or above 100 meters. The two diagrams at the bottom left hand side show the data of the animations with the corresponding colors. The diagram above shows the angles of the servos and the diagram next to it the altitude. At the bottom right hand side diagram shows the acceleration of the vehicle. After the launch when you press the back button you get to the main window. Press the close slash save to ensure the data to the text file. When you have a look on the text file the first row represents the date of the launch and the following lines include all the flight data. If we now start the program again and choose the reconstruct mode, another text field appears in which we need to type in the name of the flight we want to see. The window is similar to the launch mode but without the prologue field. With the play button the animation begins and with the stop button the animation holds. With the button next to stop the animation restarts. Two sliders are added above the acceleration diagram. One to adjust the speed of the animation and another to correct the sampling rate of the diagrams. With the second slider you can thus adjust the size of the diagrams to see it more or less detailed. Furthermore, the diagrams are self-scaling to make it look clearer.
the software took me about 300 work hours in 5 months to complete and we are still only in an early beta version. The software is called GIC GM Eagle Control and with this update we are on version 1.2. The next steps on the rocket will be completing the parachute system shortly after followed by a hold down test. If you are interested in the project leave a like and subscribe for more updates on YouTube, Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description. If you want to support my self-funded project even more, check out my Patreon. Also link in the description. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I will see you next time.